Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Nerdmine, and this tutorial is going to be about um, gunshot. So, in this specific scene, I'm going to use a cannon. I already keyframed the position and rotation. As you can see, there's a little pushback right here. And uh, we're going to have muscle flashes and just had some light effects. So, let's get started. Um, that's my video copilot folder. Um, action essential packs. I'm gonna be using muscle muzzle flashes. Um, actually, I have no clue which one I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use the last one, drag and drop, and I'm also gonna use some smoke. Smoke. Okay, there. Um, smoke zero one, and I'll import those in my project file. Okay, so first thing I want to make sure is to synchronize my muzzle flash with the actual gunshot, which is proxy here. So I'm going to move frame by frame using page down and page up. There we go. Now just do the usual rotation thing. I'm going to put it under the cannon, scale it up a little bit actually a lot there we go so this thing here lasts two frames I'm gonna actually um, keyframe this thing so position rotation just move it up here There we go. Now there's some smoke too. But uh, we're gonna have more smoke using the this thing here that we've got. So let's move it. I'm gonna keyframe the opacity. And leave it at something like 50%. I'm gonna hide it behind the actual cannon. There we go. And I'm just gonna leave it there. Actually, you might wanna keyframe the position. Let's see. Okay, it looks somewhat decent. Um, the smoke isn't really what I wanted though. In fact, I'm just gonna remove it. And now for the big part of this tutorial, you wanna actually add some environment light. So what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna take everything in your scene and uh, pre-compose it, everything but the muzzle flash. So take everything in your scene, pre-compose, and here you have a, your pre-comp and your flash you're gonna duplicate your pre-comp and set the first one to add if you don't see it um, if you don't see the mode here just hit F4 or that button down here okay and as you can see everything bright got brighter a little bit too so you're gonna take a mask and actually mask everything you want to like let's say I want the, the Zybax face to be affected by the light so I'm just gonna mask his face like this kind of actually I want this and um, his stuff too this part of his stuff so I'm just gonna mask do some quick work Cannon 2 right here. I 
and now I'm just gonna take all the mask I did. Actually, I'm gonna press M on my keyboard to show all the mask. I'm gonna select them all and double click M again. Just move the feather a little bit up, like this. Yep, that looks good. And now I'm gonna keyframe this thing. Opacity keyframe, sorry. So opacity zero. Then the flash gun, it's at 50, I think. It should be at 50% or so. 60 looks good. And then remove it right here. Now let's play this. This looks good. So the only thing I need to do now is actually add a background to this. And um, I'll have a perfect gunshot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.